This video will demonstrate how you can use DataFeed Toolbox to import data from data stream web services into the MATLAB environment. The first step in importing data is to establish a connection to data stream web services API. This can be done by typing data stream WS followed by username and password, which should be given to you by data stream. There will be a new variable C of class data stream created in the MATLAB workspace. Once the connection has been set, there are several ways to import the data. Most of them requires the connection name, security symbol, and data type code. To find the security symbols and data type codes, go to Data Stream Navigator in the link here. You will be required to enter the login and password again. Let's type Apple and search. We will see the list of securities related to Apple. Let's select the one that traded in NASDAQ. The required symbol is at AAPL. And you can see the basic data types below the chart here. For example, P for adjusted price and DY for dividend yield. If you want to see all data types, you can click on the button here. In this case, we want to find the adjusted cross price of Apple. So we are going to use P as a data type code. Let's go back to MATLAB and specify the symbol and data type that we want. Now, we can use function history to retrieve historical price of Apple. As you can see here in the workspace, new variables of type timetable are created. It is easy to visualize data in MATLAB by using interactive plots in the plot menu. And here is the plot of Apple stock price from the data that we retrieve. Moreover, we may retrieve data based on specific date range and specify the frequencies of data using optional argument at the end. For example, M for monthly, Q for quarterly, and Y for yearly. Also, we may retrieve historical data with multiple data types at the same time. We just need to specify the list of data type codes here. In this case, we're going to retrieve open, high, low and close then visualize it using candlestick chart since the data is already in timetable format we can easily calculate technical indicators like bollinger bands using the built-in function in financial toolbox last if we want to retrieve historical data with multiple securities and data types we can simply do it by adding multiple symbols and data types then use exactly the same code to retrieve all data at once. In case you are interested in other functionalities or interfaces of Data Feed Toolbox, please visit the Data Feed Toolbox product page. Thank you very much.